kind of knew that it was really, really different is, is when the request for tickets was over 50,000 people for, a, for a, an audience of 728. Like a half a block away, there were like 5,000 kids lined up and screaming, and you know. They actually had a police escort from the hotel uh, to the studio. Uh, during rehearsal on Saturday, uh, of course, George was not there. He was at the hotel with 102 temperature. So I happened to be in the control room. I happened to be wearing a dark shirt. And I was asked to go and stand in for George. All of a sudden, I hear this laughter going on. And it's, uh, it's Ed Sullivan with a beetle wig on. And everyone's taking his picture. And he says, you know, like enough, enough is enough for himself. He takes off the wig and says, come, we have to make it real and they plopped it on my head. When he put the wig on me, he expected maybe Paul and John and Ringo to go like be hysterical and the whole thing. It's like, their reaction was like, yeah, okay, uh, let's start being a professional and let's, let's, let's get going on this thing. Uh, it really told me a lot about them. It was, it told me they were really professional. I got to know them uh, backstage uh, only because I was, I was their contact. But uh, I'll always remember uh, 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 George wasn't feel, really feeling that well, so he was kind of isolated. Paul was kind of by himself with the guitar, if I remember right. Uh, Ringo seemed to be, you know, I think Ringo watched uh, black and white television, and because uh, John just kept on wandering back and forth, up and down, because uh, he was fascinated. We had a Coke machine on the fourth, fifth floor. It was outside the dressing room of a call and Brill. And he kept on coming to me for, uh, for nickels so we can by Coca-Cola. How long do you think Beatlemania will last? As long as you all keep coming. <laughs> the question I always get is that what were they like? They were probably the, the four nicest people I've ever worked with. Not only nice but professional. Fifty years later is when I'm, I'm really realizing what it's all about. I really am. I mean I'm, I am just I am in a state of shock that I'm, you know, I'm going to be 80 years old, and I, you know, I actually have you know, people coming up to me at different places and wanting to meet me. I'm thinking, you know, I'm, I'm just this kid from Brooklyn.